Zwifters, welcome to an all new episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we're talking about a brand new product announced this week which could be an absolute game changer if you run on Zwift using a foot pod or if you haven't got a smart treadmill. This week sees the announcement of the Run, R-U-N-N, the Run module, released by North Pole Engineering. Now, North Pole Engineering, or NPE, are a company who are well known for a small device called the Cable. Uh, it's not a cable, it's a little pod that converts an Ant Plus signal into a Bluetooth signal. That's very handy for people who own the Garmin foot pod, um, but who want to run Zwift on an iOS device which only accepts a Bluetooth signal. What you can do is you can use your old Garmin Ant Plus foot pod, connect it to the cable device which converts that signal into a Bluetooth signal which can be read by your iPhone, your iPad or Apple TV. So NPE are known for that and it's a really good device. So they have now come up working in collaboration as far as I understand it with Zwift to develop the Run module. Now the Run module is is a, a device that sits on the side of your treadmill and it kind of looks over at the belt of your treadmill with an optical sensor. What you do is you stick some pads onto the belt of your treadmill and the optical sensor looks at those pads as they were around as the treadmill is going around and from that it can measure the speed of your treadmill. Now this way of doing things by measuring the speed of the turning of the belt on the treadmill uh, might remind you of the tread tracker. Tread tracker are no longer available but bought by quite a few people and recommended by quite a few people because of the accuracy of the data it gave. Uh, it placed a little wheel against the belt of the treadmill so rather more mechanical way of doing things um, and it sent a Bluetooth signal to Zwift to give you speed within the game. It used to work quite well uh, but this is a slightly different way of doing it rather than actually having a mechanical wheel touching the belt we have an optical sensor looking down on the belt itself and measuring the speed that way. But in addition to giving you speed from the treadmill belt, the run device will also give you cadence and get this incline as well. There is no other device available on the market unless you buy a smart treadmill which will give you automatic incline from your treadmill. Game changer, seriously. Now the run module hasn't shipped yet so none of us have one to test. We can only assume and hope that it's going to work as they say it's going to work. If it does it will be awesome. If you currently use one of the cheaper Bluetooth foot pods to get your speed into Zwift and you're not happy about the accuracy of the device, you may well want to look at the run module. It is not much more expensive than those foot pods. If you currently use a stride, however, you may need to consider things a little bit further. For example, on the stride you do get power, which you will not get with the run module. You also still get cadence anyway. And in terms of accuracy, well, there are a couple of things to point out. So the stride is attached to your foot. It measures the speed of your foot. Now stride, as a company will argue, that is a more accurate measurement of your true speed. The run module on the other hand is measuring the speed of the belt. Now that is not necessarily the speed that you as a runner are running at. Let me explain. The treadmill belt goes around. When your foot strikes the treadmill belt, it marginally slows down that belt somewhat from the speed that it's saying it's going at. When you are fully in the air as a runner, the treadmill belt will slightly speed up to compensate for the loss in speed when your foot impacts the belt. So your speed as a runner is slightly slowed down because of that impact but the belt speed is slightly faster because it compensates when you are in the air. So the belt speed is going to be different to your run speed. Therefore, the speed of the stride foot pod is going to be slightly different, slightly slower than the speed measured and shown by the belt and therefore by the run module. Does that make sense? So if you already have the Stride foot pod, you've spent the money on it, it's yours, you may want to consider whether you want to then change to the run module or not, or stick with the Stride. However, if you're using the cheaper Bluetooth foot pods, 
I absolutely recommend that you consider having a look at the run module. Like I say, we haven't tested it yet. We don't know if the claims are absolutely right, but there's no reason to suspect that the claims made by MPE about the accuracy of this module, about how good it's going to be, are going to be false. Obviously, as soon as I get one here at the Film My Run shed quarters, I will be testing it and letting you know what I think. If you own a smart treadmill, there's absolutely no benefit in you changing to the run module at all. The only benefit actually might be if you travel a lot. Obviously, you can't take your smart treadmill with you. Uh, but if you travel, you might want to buy the run module. You can take it with you to the gym. Uh, apparently, it's not too difficult to just attach these sticky pads to the treadmill belt. And you're often running with a really accurate module to measure your speed and get it into Zwift. From a price point, perspective well it is about half the price of the stride foot pod so that's another thing to consider it is slightly more expensive than the Zwift pod the Garmin foot pod and most of the other Bluetooth foot pods slightly more expensive than that but it is less expensive than the stride foot pod and way less expensive than getting yourself a smart treadmill so positive things about the run module price point accuracy of data incline, cadence, portability. All of those things suggest to me that the run module from MPE is going to be something well worth looking at. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Do please subscribe to the Zwift Run and the Film My Run YouTube channels and we'll see you for another How to Run on Zwift very soon. Take care. Bye bye.